Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia. A uh, quick update from the Mikolaev Kaivire front. So I'm not sure this is Kaivire or Mikolaev. Uh, so anyway, Southern Front. So at the Southern Front, uh, the Ukrainians have attempted an offensive through Davidiv Breed. So which is actually here. Davidiv Breed, this is a small town and then there's actually a bridge. So the Ukrainian forces have crossed the bridge and uh, did an incursion and they went as far as Bruskinsky. Uh However, according to the this this information came from the Russian source. The Ukrainians did not mention about this. Uh, I didn't see this on Twitter. However, the so according to the Ukrainian, uh, sorry, the Russian source, uh, they mentioned that a mechanized group of the Ukrainian armed forces, uh, of with more than ten uh, armored unit, I guess, or ten equipments, basically vehicles, have broke through attempted to broke through the defense in the area of Davidov Brod, which is Davidiv Breed, uh, in the direction of Varislav. So where is Varislav? Um, Varislav, here. This is Varislav. In this direction. So they're following this road down. And however, they were scattered. Uh, so probably they did not expect uh, Russian forces to be around this region and uh, the entire force got scattered. And then... Uh, the fighting continues at this location and then in the further update uh part of this uh ukrainian forces is encircled uh there's an operational encirclement at brun uh, brunskinsky which is actually brunskinsky and in with uh ad on the additional note so the the forces have broke uh spread out it's not sure what happened to them now they are trying to punch through you know in a surprise attack so in the additional note by the same uh, Russian source, the analyst, they say that uh, they have the Ukrainians brought up a reinforced battalion uh, tactical group. So composed of the 28th uh, Mechanized Brigade, 35th Marine Brigade, and the 63 Mechanized Brigade of the Reserve Corps. Uh, there's a lot of units for 10 units, uh, 10 vehicles. Anyway, the main task was to capture a bridgehead uh, in the right bank of the Inglet River, which is uh, this this river here, Inglis River, and to create a condition to further progress towards Nova Kahovka. Uh, if you're not sure where Nova Kahovka is actually here, which is this is uh, the dam, uh, power plant, and and a bridge uh, all combined. So there's a road bridge here. This is Nova Kahovka, uh, one of the two crossings, Kherson and Nova Kahovka, between uh, the northern half of of the Dnipro River and uh, below half in where most of Kherson is. So, uh, so very uh, ambitious. Uh, then, but the Ukrainian forces suffered losses uh, in the battle for, for the river crossing. And uh, this Russian analyst uh, note that this is not a reconnaissance by combat. This is actually a proper offensive force and uh he analyzed so this is not reality this and then and then an analysis that the ukrainian command misjudged the the amount of uh, russian forces that's on on this side and they believe that is there is only a reserve battalion of the dpr in this area so i'm not sure why they would think uh dpr is actually in this area because dpr is fighting in donets so anyway they encountered russian forces not the militias and as a result, this entire attack seems to have fizzled out. Uh, but we will continue to monitor, uh, see whether the Russian sources will tell, tell us more. And and uh, we will keep track of this uh, offense. So this is the quick update from the Southern Front, uh, Mikolaev and Kyrie Ray. So because this is actually a uh, incursion, actually, it's not even in Mikolaev, it's not, it's not in, really in Kyrie Ray. So let's call this a Southern Front. And I'll see you uh, in the next update.